I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is a Victorian belt to go with my walking skirt and also this belt I made to go with an upcoming project that I'm going to be releasing a video of that next week so stay tuned. I wanted to say hello again and welcome to my new subscribers. Um, I think the wave from CocoVid is just still coming in and I am just overwhelmed. Um, it's amazing and thank you so much. So without further ado, let's get started on this Victorian belt. I used the belt pattern included in Black Snail Patterns number 0420 and I do have plans at some point to make the rest of this pattern <laughs> to make the actual blouse. Since I was doing just the belt this time, I just printed the pages I needed for the belt and taped those together. I got the pieces cut out and pinned to my wrinkled mock-up fabric. I knew I was going to need some extra room in the waist, so I added two inches to the center back. Got my new microphone on. We'll see if that helps with the sound in here. I do have the fan going, so we'll see. But anyway, I got my corset on so I can check the mock-up and it's not a full mock-up of course I just wanted to see whether I needed to add any more inches to the waist and it looks like I'm not going to need to I did add two inches to uh, the back pieces and so four of course all together and I sewed this with quarter inch seam allowances and the pieces come together and there is overlap so I can make a placket and yeah I think we're good to go this is going to look very cute. This is the fabric I'm going to use to make the belt because this is going to go with an upcoming project um, that I'm doing with some fellow Costubers, a stash swap. I got started assembling with my silk dupioni. I know it's not really historically accurate, but I don't care. It's such a pretty color. <laughs> then I cut out my pieces of the silk. I had some Aida fabric left over from my corset, so I used some of that for interlining. And I cut those interlining pieces out using the shaded marks on the pattern. Checking the instructions, always important. Went to the machine and I sewed the interlining pieces together. And then I sewed the silk pieces together. I placed and pinned the interlining in the center of the wrong side of the silk.
Then I took that to the machine and I basted that down. The next step is to fold the seam allowance to the inside or the wrong side. I used those quilting clips that I love to hold it in place. And now I am placing the lining wrong side to wrong side with the fashion fabric and folding the lining seam allowance towards the inside. So towards where the fashion fabric silk is folded. I sewed the lining to the silk with a whip stitch. Puppy love! Loki always needs pets, and so does Thor. <laughs> Okay, we are almost done. I have attached the lining and everything. Now I just need to, hey buddy, um, see where the closures need to go. And I'm hoping I did not make this too small. So, I want it to sit here. Okay. It will come together in the back. So, that is good. <laughs> um, so now I just have to put some closures on. Awesome. I didn't want to bother taking the corset off and then putting it right back on for the final fit test, so I didn't. Proof yet again that you can indeed sit and do things in a corset. <laughs> okay. And we're done with the belt. So. Comes together. Just fine. And I think, you know, with all of the under things, <laughs> um, cause it definitely is, there's a little room through here, but not through here. And I honestly think that's just my shape. <laughs> I'm definitely bigger here than up here. Um, so I am quite, quite pleased with it. And I'm going to put some, uh, you know, put my under things and um, blouse and skirt and see how it all looks together. Yay! Went outside in the morning to take some photos of it and being Louisiana, the temperature was not incredibly hot right around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, but the humidity was amazingly oppressive. <laughs> So, didn't stay out there too long, but got a few shots of the finished belt. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and also clicking the thumbs up button or the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I upload every single Friday. If you're interested in supporting this channel at all, and no pressure, seriously, no pressure, <laughs> I, um, I have a coffee account and I have linked that down below. 
I will see you next time on our sewing adventures. Bye!